Peace. Listen, we have to learn how to be authentic and true to self, yet not be stubborn to change. You have to be open to criticism when it's coming from a genuine place. And you have to be able to discern when a person is coming from a genuine place in regards to criticism, opposed to the person that's offering the criticism from a place of hatred. We have to be receptive to genuine criticism, what they call constructive criticism. Not everybody is offering criticism from a destructive place. And we have to stop being stubborn when it comes to authenticity, when it comes to being true to self. A lot of a lot of us get stuck in this mindset of I'm not changing for anybody. I'm just being me. Well, at some point, you have to be open to change just because you have changed just because you have evolved doesn't necessarily mean you are not being authentic or true to self. There there are levels to your authenticity. The authentic self or the authentic person that you were at 20 should not be the same authentic self and authentic person that you are in your 30s and 40s. You should have evolved within that 10 to 20 year span. That's still being authentic and true to self. See, a lot of us, we get stuck in that same mentality that we had at 15 and 20. I'm just being me. I'm not changing for anybody. That's a stubborn and ignorant way to think, especially when somebody has your best interests at heart and they are offering constructive criticism. You have to stop being so quick to close the door on some of these people, man. And you have to have, you have to improve your discernment. Again, stop being stubborn. Stop being stubborn. The person that you were in your 20s, you should not be that same person at 30 and 35. It's called evolution. It's called elevation. It's called growth. Nothing is wrong with that. You not selling yourself out. You not being fake. You are staying true to self when you value evolution, when you value growth. So you have to look in the mirror and reflect on self and see where you were at 10 years ago and where you are at now, 10 years later. Are you the same person? If so, you need to be figuring out in what aspects of your life can you make some changes? In what aspects of your life can you grow and evolve? Because we should always be striving to evolve, elevate, grow, transcend. But a lot of us are stuck in that same mentality that we had in our 20s. Some of us are stuck in the same mentality that we had when we were 15. Straight up. There is a way that you can remain true to self, yet evolve and elevate at the same exact time, fam. Please understand that. Peace.